Why do narcissists operate from the same bug? It is an often repeated question that I'm asked. HG, why do narcissists operate from the same bug? Or why do narcissists all behave in the same way? It's as if they all read from the same bug. Is there some school of narcissism, a university of manipulation, or a college of coercion? The fact that much of what I tell you about with regard to my own behaviours and those of my kind resonates with so many, many people naturally causes this question to be asked. How is it that narcissists know how to behave in such similar ways? What is behind narcissists using such familiar and well-experienced manipulations? How do we learn to do this? Indeed, such is the similarity of experience that I am regularly asked by people whether I am their narcissist. I am not. And some even go so far as to write to me on a daily basis questioning my behaviour, pleading and chastising, as they truly think that I am the actual narcissist who is tormenting them. Again, I am not. But this is born, in part, out of the recognition of similarity with regard to the operation of narcissists. Do we all use the same bug? And if we do, how does this come about? The first observation to make is that whilst there are similarities in the way that we operate, there are also considerable differences. Of course, many of those who are ensnared by us find themselves repeatedly ensnared by similar types, as in school and cadre, of narcissists. Therefore, the behaviours will indeed appear similar to the victim. Some of you, particularly because of the type of empaths that you are, will attract the same schools over and over again. So it may well be the case that upper mid-range narcissists are particularly attracted to you and those are the narcissists that you get ensnared with. And therefore you will be subjected to the range of manipulations that are used by the upper mid-range narcissist. However, lesser narcissists have a small range of manipulations. They are rudimentary in their activity. Generally, unless they're upper lesser, have smaller fuel matrices, leading to more interruption to their fuel supply, which in turn causes more volatile and haphazard behaviours. They also have a low threshold on their ignited fury, which will invariably appear as heated fury. There are considerable differences between the mid-range narcissist and the lesser, and both lesser and mid-range are different again from the greater school. Now, a lesser narcissist, for instance, may use a silent treatment, which is more widely used and is a hallmark of a mid-range narcissist, but it is rarer. There are crossovers between the schools in terms of certain behaviours. For example, all schools have the potential to use physical violence. However, lesser narcissists, especially lower lesser and middle lesser, do so more often and more brutally and without regard for consequence. Mid-rangers use physical violence far less often and tend to use pushing, holding, spitting and slapping rather than punching, kicking, biting, headbutting. And graters, where physical violence is used, which is rare, may do so through a proxy or will do in a manner where detection is far less likely. Thus, there is a similarity with regard to the use of physical violence, i.e. all schools can use it, but then considerable differences with regard to its frequency and application. Similar behaviours, but with variations. How about achieving coercion and control? The lesser is a blunt instrument, invariably relying on blind fear through physical aggression to person and property. Broadly speaking, the mid-range narcissist will rely on being kind and good-natured, moving to pity and emotional blackmail. With upper mid-range, the application of superiority, before then moving on to threat, for all three of the subschools of mid-range. Albeit, with mid-range narcissists, threat invariably remains that. The greater uses more extensively charm, reward, and 
the application of considerable resource. Thus, all three schools engage in coercing and controlling victims, but do so in differing ways. What then of fuel matrices? I have written and spoken about the different fuel matrices of the different schools, and they show a commonality. We all need fuel, but there are significant differences in the composition and extent of those fuel matrices. The lesser narcissists, particularly lower lesser and middle lesser, have a small fuel matrix with a heavy reliance on the intimate partner primary source and is more likely to make use of a non-intimate partner primary source should the need arise. The mid-range narcissist has, have a wider fuel matrix, but again they still rely significantly on the intimate partner primary source and less on a non-intimate partner primary source. The greater has the widest and most varied fuel matrix. And whilst there will remain some reliance on the IPPS, it is nowhere near as great as the other two schools. And indeed, the greater school can endure for far longer without a primary source at all compared to the other schools. Again, similar behaviours, but with variations. All three schools exhibit ignited fury when wounded. Do see the book Fury for more details in that regard. However, the lesser, and this applies to lower lesser, middle lesser, upper lesser type A and upper lesser type B, has a hair trigger in that regard and relies mostly, often exclusively, on heated fury. The mid-range narcissists have more control over their ignited fury compared to the lesser, but it's not substantially improved. However, their fury manifests more through cold fury, sulking, walking away, sitting in silence. The greater has a significant control over his or her ignited fury and will use both heated and cold fury should control not remain in place. Not all narcissists are grandiose. Some are aggressive, others are passive aggressive. Some are haughty, others needy. Some focus on the physical, others on the cerebral. Some are successful, others are not. Accordingly, it can be seen that there are similar strands with regard to narcissists in terms of constitution, outlook and behaviour, but with notable and significant differences between the schools. Therefore, it is not accurate to state that all narcissists operate from the same playbook, but it appears there are similarities. Again, as mentioned earlier, this appearance of it being the same may also be the experience of the victim, because he or she has been ensnared by narcissists of the same school and cadre. Yet, what if the differences I have explained above, and there are plenty more, are regarded as mere subtleties by victims, and instead you point to the fact that we seduce victims, we love bomb, we devalue, we disengage, we suffer wounding, we hoover and we smear. Are those all not the operations of narcissists? Are they not, therefore, all of the same? Do we not, for instance, all regard people as objects, as appliances? Do we not all lack emotional empathy? Do we not all experience envy, jealousy and hatred? Do we not all operate through black and white thinking? Do we all need the prime aims? Do we not all have an overwhelming need for control of our environments? Again, these are significant sames with regard to our kind and support the suggestion that we do indeed all operate in accordance with one mystical, all-encompassing manual of narcissism. It is clear from the many comments that I have read on my blog and social media platforms, from the emails I have received and the content of consultations, that people have very similar experiences with regard to being a victim of our kind, whether it is romantic, familial, social or a work entanglement. Thus, it very much appears that we do indeed all operate from the same buck. And this, therefore, raises the next question. How can that be? How is it that narcissists know to operate this way, to have the same perspectives, to respond in the same way, to deal with manipulation in the same manner, to approach the dynamic with the victims in the same and similar ways? That is actually a very simple question to answer. It is not the case that because one is a narcissist that one knows to operate in the same way as every other narcissist. No. 
It is because we act in such similar ways that we are narcissists. If you do not act in this way, you are not one of us. If you do, you are, and you belong to our club. Manipulate, lack emotional empathy, regard people as appliances who belong to us forever, control people, need fuel, lack remorse, have no or poor boundary recognition, exhibit magical thinking, a sense of entitlement, have no concept of accountability, ensure that it's never our fault, see only black and white and so forth, and you have a narcissist, not the other way around. It is the similarity in behaviour that makes us narcissists, not that we are narcissists, so we behave similarly. That is the answer. <laughs>